Hey guys, I'm Cody, editor by Past Life Pro, and for this tutorial, the title should have given you some hints, I want to show you how to get the SUS V10.0 Ultra's water to work in the SUS V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra. But of course, before we begin, why? Well, as you'll see, the water is quite nice for an earlier version of the SUS, and definitely a good alternative for a change in the pace, depending on if you need a vacation from the normal parallax waters. You know, why not try something new for the heck of it? Anyways, explanation aside, join me as we fall into the waters of this tutorial. First, have the SUSE V10.2 shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. As for the second file, have the SUSE V10.0 Ultra ready to go as well. No need to unzip it, we're only taking files from it anyway. Alright, access the V10.0 Ultra.zip file, access the shaders folder, and locate the 2G buffers underscore water files. Drag them to the desktop. As of now, access the V10.2 folder, access the shaders folder, and again, locate the two gbuffers underscore water files. So that we can replace the V10.2's water with the V10.0's, we would need to simply delete the two V10.2 water files and add in those two desktop files. If you were to test out the V10.2 directly after these changes, then as you would expect, the water would pretty much have no difference. Come to think of it, it almost has sort of a muddy look to it, which might look satisfying from some angles, but for me, I have one more adjustment that I'd make to better balance the water in a nicer sky blue kind of look. Find gbuffers underscore water dot fsh. Use your notepad plus plus, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 124. If you didn't already know, these values are what determine the color of the water. Transparency value is directly after, but we'll keep that how it is. So, my advice? Replace these numbers with 0.4f, 0.9f, and 1.2f. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. Alright, if this Seuss tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!